most types of glaucoma arise because the fluid or aqueous humour that the eye produces internally cannot drain, resulting in high pressure inside the eye. This fluid is different from tears which are on the outside of the eye, helping to lubricate it. The fluid cannot drain properly because there is increased resistance to the flow of fluid in the trabecular meshwork, the drainage apparatus of the eye. At a simple level, the trabecular meshwork can be thought of as a sieve which drains the fluid. In glaucoma, the sieve accumulates debris which prevents drainage of fluid. Selective laser trabeculoplasty, or SLT, is a treatment for open angle glaucoma which we have used in Bournemouth since 2008. How does SLT laser work? The laser is a gentle treatment directed at the sieve-like mesh to clean it out. On a cellular level, the mechanism of action is more complex. It stimulates cells to clear the debris and remodels and renews the meshwork itself. Before SLT, other laser treatments such as argon laser trabeculoplasty or ALT were available, but the results were less impressive and that older laser used more energy and consequently caused damage to adjacent tissues. The term selective laser trabeculoplasty is used because there is selective absorption of energy by the cells which need to be treated, preventing collateral damage to adjacent tissues. In this way, each pulse of SLT laser uses less than 0.1% of the energy of conventional ALT laser. This slide shows a magnified view of the treated meshwork. On the left, with conventional laser, and on the right, SLT laser. It shows that the SLT laser does not cause any damage, unlike the crater seen with treatment by the older laser. How is it carried out? SLT is carried out as an outpatient treatment in the laser room. Eye drops are instilled to numb the surface of the eye and lower the eye pressure beforehand to prevent pressure spikes. The patient sits in a chair, similar to how they are examined in an eye clinic. A slit lamp, similar to the examination slit lamp, is used with a laser attachment. To apply the laser, a contact lens is held against the surface of the eye. The patient does not feel the lens as the eye is already numb from the eye drops. Typically, between 75 to 100 laser pulses are applied, each lasting only 3 nanoseconds. The whole treatment takes about 5 minutes in experienced hands. The contact lens is then removed and the patient is asked to wait in the waiting area for 20 minutes for a pressure check before they can go home. This is to check for a transient pressure rise, which is uncommon. How will my eye be after the laser? After the treatment, the eye may be a little red and a little sore, although most patients don't have any symptoms. The vision may be a bit blurry for an hour or two because of having had a contact lens applied to the eye. On the day of having the laser, it is okay to go outside and go for a walk and generally take it easy. I advise people not to drive the day of the laser treatment and resume normal activities the next day. There is no need to restrict activities or sports from then. What are the risks? SLT is a tried and tested procedure and it is well established as a low risk treatment option in suitable patients. Rarely it can cause inflammation in the eye but this usually settles within a week if it arises. Rarely it can cause a transient pressure rise. In experienced hands the risks are very low. How long does SLT take to have its full effect? In most cases, the pressure reduction arises within two or three weeks, and in some eyes, it can take up to six weeks. How effective is it? Generally, the higher the eye pressure to start with, the larger the reduction. On average, there is roughly a five and a half millimeter lowering of eye pressure. If the pressure is very low to begin with, then SLT may not be a suitable treatment option. Can it be repeated? The pressure reduction from SLT can last a number of years. Sometimes it wears off over a period of time. If the pressure reduction lasts six months or longer, it can be repeated. What are the benefits over eye drops? The main benefit is not having to instill additional eye drops every day. Some eye drops sting and cause the eyes to become red. Some have other side effects. In this way, not having to use daily eye drops 
has been shown to improve quality of life. At what stage should SLT be used? In 2019, the LIGHT trial carried out by Moorfields Eye Hospital was published in the Lancet Journal. This randomised control trial of eye drops versus SLT confirmed the safety and effectiveness of laser and concluded that SLT should be offered as a first-line treatment in primary open-angle glaucoma and ocular hypertension, and this is now established practice. SLT can also be used as an adjunct to eye drops if the pressure is not low enough, thereby preventing or delaying the need for an operation.